This is the last section in 6-9. This is uh, uh, in Chapter 6. It's 6-9, and we are working on word problems. So let's look at the first one, the product of one more than a number. How would I translate that? Actually, before we even begin, what is our unknown? No, I don't need you to tell me a variable. What is unknown in the story? A number. A number. So that is the, the, the term we will be using the variable for. I don't need you to tell me what's unknown. I know x is unknown. That's not telling me what's unknown in this story. So the first thing we're looking at is x is our unknown. It stands for the number. So how would I translate the product of one more than a number? The product of one more than a number and four less than a number. Uh, Lewis. Lucas. Lucas, sorry. Uh, in parentheses, x plus 1, close parentheses, and then another parentheses, x minus 4, close parentheses, equals 36. Perfect. x plus 1 times the quantity of x minus 4 equals 36. How would we go about doing this? Daniel Bang. We're going to double distribute x squared minus 3x minus 4 equals 36. Next step. Subtract the 36 from both sides. And now what multiplies, we do our x marks the spot, what multiplies to negative 40 adds to negative 3. What multiplies, Daniel? What multiplies to negative 40 adds to negative 3. He said negative 8 and 5. So we get x plus 5 times x minus 8 equals 0. So my solutions are x equals negative 5 or 8. So it says find the number. So now we can check that. We can check. Let's first try with our negative 5. Right? Substitute it in. Negative 5 plus 1 is negative 4. Negative 5 minus 4 is negative 9. Negative 9, negative 4 makes positive 36. Okay? Then let's check our 8. 9 times 4 is 36. They both work. Okay? So our solutions are negative 5 or 8. And you can put them in a, a solution set like this. Or you can say x equals this or this. Right? All right. Next one. The length of a rectangle is 2 feet less than 3 times the width. If the area is 65 square feet, find the dimensions. What do they give us less information on? What do they give us less information on, Ansana? The width. So we're going to call that X or W. It doesn't matter. I'm, for the sake of my PowerPoint, I'm calling it X. So if that's X, then they give us a translation. Length is 2 less than 3 times width. Length is 2 less than 3 times width. Daniel. 3x minus what? 3x minus 2. Good. Now, we know our area is 65 feet. What formula is implied here? What formula, Ansana? Length times width equals area. It's the formula, so we said A, okay, so length times width equals area. Now I can start substituting. I've got 65. My length is 3x minus 2. We're multiplying by x. We're going to double distribute. 3x squared minus 2x equals 65. What would I do next? Uh, Alexander. Okay, what would I do next? Somebody else? 
Boeing, what do I do next? Um, you Subtract the 65, good. And I generally always um, draw what I'm doing, right? I draw the picture of the shape. Try and describe. Okay, so now I've got... All right, so now we've got a factor. We've got some lead coefficient factoring. We're multiplying 3 times 65, and we get 195 negative 195, and what adds to negative 2. So, the, what I want to bring up to you what I do with my, with my numbers. When I get a big number like that, the first thing I want you to know is there's a clue. It's two digits apart. The second thing I'm noticing, this is very close to a perfect square. What perfect square? What perfect square, Schweib? 196. 196. Okay, what is 196? 14, 14 times 14. So this has to be close to 196 because it's only two digits apart. That means it's very close to a perfect square. The difference is it ends in a 5. So it's got to be a number that's very close to, to 14. That divides into 195. Mary? Um, negative, 15 negative 15 goes in. And when you divide it, you're saving yourself a ton of time. Negative 15 goes how many times? 13. 13. So it's negative 15. It's two digits. Now, I also could have gone one step further. I could go 15 and 17. But 14 times 14 is 196. It's higher than 195. So this has got to be go down. Because if I do take two numbers that are bigger, it's going to be bigger than 196. So it would have to be negative 15 and 13. So do you understand how I deal with the big numbers? I really use my perfect squares to help me eliminate. I use what does it end in? That means it's got to be a clue. If it ends in 5, it's got to be you know, have a five in one of its factors. All right, so now we have what multiplies to negative 195, negative 2x, and th oh, sorry, we're doing x squared. And now uh, we said it is x plus 13 and x minus 15, right? And now what's the next step in our factoring? Yep. You have to divide it by 3, divide it by 3, we get 3x plus 13 times uh, x minus 5 equals 0. The solution to this one is x equals 5. 3x plus 13 sub equals 0. Subtract 13, subtract 13. 3x equals negative 13. Divide by 3, divide by 3. x equals negative 13 over 3. Now, here's the problem. Yes. It doesn't matter. Um, here's, the qu here's the thing. I'm looking for the measurement of this. Are you going to have two different measurements for that, that line? So both of these answers can't be accurate. Alex? Well, since the, you know that the length is, um, it's evolved, it's bigger, it's bigger than the width, so, the, the, I'm sorry, the width is greater than the length. No. no okay. Boeing. What solution is negative, meaning that it's not? In what world do we have a negative ruler? We, there's no ruler that I could take that will measure a distance, and it will be negative. So when you have these kinds of problems, you're usually going to have one answer that may be a bad answer. The negative is not a good answer because distance can't be negative. This is a distance. It's a measurement. So... What we have is the width is 5, 
And then 3 times 5 minus 2 is 13. So my length is 13. And I always go back to my story and make sure I find what they're looking for. They said find the dimensions. They do want both. And remember, we need our units, so it would be 5 feet and 13 feet. Is that clear? Yes, L Lucas. Is the distance theoretically from the negative if you backtrack? But then you'd still be moving. I can't have a negative. No, if I'm measuring distance. Oh, oh. No. No, because I walk forward, I walk back. I'm still measuring my distance there and back. If I'm on my Fitbit, it's not going to go, just because you walk backwards, it's not going to not count it. Just because you walked a different direction. All right, so let's go on to the next problem. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to give you one to work on your own. Let's start this one, okay? Pause the recording and you guys do the next one. Oh. Um, tell me, what do we know less about? Let's check our work. Let's go with, um, let's go with Alexander. Uh, we know less about the height. Height, and so we'll call that our X. And then our base would be? Good. And I generally draw what I'm talking about. Okay. Um, we're also given our area, which is? 16, six, 16 meter, square meters. So... What is the formula for the area of a triangle, Michael? Right. So I'm going to start with the formula, and then I'm going to substitute in. Now, this gets a little bit tricky. Guys, I could distribute in. Then multiply by the x, right? And then I can multiply by 2. Doesn't that seem redundant? I, divide, I multiplied by the 1 half, and now I'm going to clear the 1 half. Multiply by 2. Multiply by 2, and I get x squared plus 4x equals 32. You guys with me? And then set it equal to 0. But how about clear the 1 half right away? The one half is, is not, so we are clearing the one half to begin with. Because if I don't multiply it in, then I don't have to multiply it out. It's double the work. So to multiply everything by two, do I just, I'm really just clearing that fraction because really this is all one term. I'm not going to multiply everything by two because a number times a number times a number is one term, right? 3xy, that's one term, right? So if I have, if I'm multiplying it by 2, I don't multiply the x by 2, the y by 2, and the 3 by 2, correct? Unless it were something like this, 3 plus x plus y. Then when I multiply, I multiply all three parts. But this is a number times, I know there's a plus sign in the middle, a number times a number. Does that make sense? So all I'm really having to do is just multiply it by 2, cross cancel those 2's, we're left with the x times the quantity of x plus 4. Distribute it in, and here we are at the same place. A lot less work. Do you understand what I'm saying? So clear that fraction first. Subtract 32, and then we have two solutions. What were the two solutions, Zach? Uh, 4 and negative 8. Good. And which is the bad solution? Negative 8. That's correct. So my, my height is 4, and my base would be um, eight. 8. But what are the directions asked for? Height, height only. Make sure and ask answer what they're asking you. Are you guys with me? Yeah. All right. Last problem. So let's go over our consecutive integers. The product of two consecutive integers is 90. What do we call the first integer? X. X. What do we call the second integer? X plus 
And what are we going to do with those? Multiply. Multiply because it says product equals 90. So x squared plus x equals 90. Now what? Subtracting the 90. What multiplies to negative 90 and adds to 1? 9 and 10. You need to do the X marks a spot. Go for it. So now I'm going to set it. X plus 10 equals 0. X minus 9 equals 0. What are my solutions? Negative 10 and positive 9. Now be careful because what this implies is that if X is negative 10, negative 10 plus 1 is what? Is what? Negative 9. Is that what I have down here? No. It's not what I have. So, it's or, if x is 9, what would 9 plus 1 be? 10. So, you have four solutions. Uh, negative 10, negative 9, or 9 and 10. You can put that into a solution set. You can also... If you don't want to do that, you could use the semicolon to imply their, their different solutions. Does that make sense? And then you can try them. See if they the, the see if your solution negative 10 works. Let's check it. Negative 10. 10 negative 10 times negative 10 plus 1. Does that work? Yeah. That's negative 9 times negative 10 makes positive 90. Okay, and now we're going to try the positive 9. Does that work? Yeah. Yep. So, again, remember, we're going to have four answers with these. Are you guys with me? Yeah. Okay, that's the end of the recording. Yama yeah, out.